Yes, we're back. We're back again in ETS2. We're back again carrying on our roaming driver series. Where last time we got to Tech a Dig, Tech a Dog, we got somewhere uh, on our way back to London only via quick jobs. This time, no idea where we're going to end up. It all depends on the job. Uh, and hopefully, it's not as long as the last one. We'll see. Grab a guidebook to all things trucking in Tech a Dig from Tech a Dig via Tech a Dig or Dog. And let's go. So hi there, Steve here, and yes, welcome back to ETS2. If you're new to this, then welcome indeed. This is the third, third? This is the third uh, journey in my series where I'm trying to get as far away from as far away as possible back to London and then maybe beyond only via quick jobs. So I've got no idea what sort of truck I'm going to be driving, no idea where I'm going to end up, and no idea what sort of load. Last time we got to take a dig. This time we will see what we're going to get. Uh, the image here in the background is generally the last truck I drove in ETS2, which is the last one I used in the live stream that we did. We'll talk more about that on the journey. Uh, uh, this going out on the Sunday currently, um, because it's a day. Uh, other content for me though is OMSI on a Monday, trains on a Wednesday, firm bus on a Friday, either farming or flight on a Saturday seems to be a thing, and then this on a Sunday. So plenty of stuff from me, hit the, the doobry what's it, subscribe buttony thing. Right, so let's have a look then. Tekka Dig is down here somewhere, Istanbul, Tekka Dag. Um, let's have a look and see what we've got. That's going the wrong way. 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 That isn't. 302 miles. Uh, looks like we're going to Pleven then. Let's take a screenshot of that. Uh, in a... What is that? Volvo? It could be a Volvo. It's a Volvo. Time to get the job done. Okay. Uh, so yeah, it looks like we're in a Volvo with some marble uh, things. Uh, 302 miles, so that should be a reasonable distance. Let's put it forward and not put the parking brake on. And then do the uh, professional uh, youtube -y thing of... Um, taking a screenshot because you know professional there we go thumbnail um i put a lot of thought into those right then let's make our way so volvo what flavor volvo is it uh it's a 420 oh blimey this could be interesting then so if you are new to these yes the idea being that I want to try and get from as far away as we could, which we did in the first video, uh, back to London and maybe beyond, but only via quick jobs. So I've got no idea from job to job what um, what truck we're going to be in, what load um, we're going to be taking. And more importantly, I can't plan a route because it all depends on uh, where the load goes so this being 300 miles and i've set them via shortest because i did say around 200 miles was really the ideal uh, but 300 miles was the shortest heading in roughly the right direction I'll just put it on that truck, it's fine. And they're just running standard Pro Mods uh, with no other, well, Middle East pack in Pro Mods and a truck and trailer pack. Um, but other than that, it's stock game, running no other mods. And this thing being a 420, it's not going to be the most rapid thing in the world. We'll try and stay to roughly the speed limit. Roughly. Go straight. 
We're coasting, losing the Scania that was trying to overtake us on the outside. So yes, if you are new to my content, then uh, yeah, quite a variety of, um, of things going out on the channel. Uh, say some OMSI the bus simulator on a Monday. That's going to be ongoing for this year. Trains uh, on a Wednesday. Really, really am enjoying train sim. So that's going to be continuing on a Wednesday. On a Friday, something from Firm Bus. Uh, that when we get the release of the bus, uh, that will replace uh, Firm Bus. So it'll turn into uh, the bus uh, Friday. And then uh, on a Saturday, oh, that's some breaking. Um, currently swapping between flight and farming. So one week is flight, the other week is farming. And yen this, uh, yen this, then this uh, will go out on a Sunday. Uh, unless I get something new to review, then that'll take the place of this on a Sunday. So a bit more content over the weekend, but then something on a Monday, Wednesday, Friday. So five videos a week from me. Do also check out uh, the Discord server if you're not already in it. Uh, trucking quite a big part of uh, Discord. So uh, check that out. Uh, I'll link that down below, as well as Twitch. Um, currently switching up things. I used to uh, stream trucking every Friday. Uh, we're going to be putting some single player stuff out there on a Friday, as well as a bit of trucking. Uh, and some flight and some farming and uh, some trains. So all sorts over there on Twitch, streaming six days a week on Twitch currently. So I'll leave a link to the Twitch page down there below as well. And yeah, this being a 420, certainly struggling a little bit. But I quite like that it's a struggle. And that's the great thing with doing these quick jobs. Again, you know, if you're um, someone that's been doing ETS2 for a while and you just want to, rather than just you pick a job, it's quite nice just doing a quick job. Although you might have your you know, favorite truck, uh, this is a good way to earn a bit of money, but drive a truck that you just don't know. So you could go, right, I'm gonna sort the quick jobs, by the, um, the longest route first, and I'm just gonna pick whatever's the longest route. And you can do something similar to that I've done here. You know, wherever you get to in one job, you carry on the next. It's actually, you know, almost a your own little adventure you could do. You can sit, set yourself a destination um, and uh, see if you can get there via quick jobs. It may be like, uh, you know, playing a board game where you've got to get a six to get out. Well, you might be, I don't know, a few hundred miles from your destination but if you can't get a job there you might have to take one past it and then you've got to wait for one to come back again so it could take you a few jobs to get to where you want to go and yeah, you know, when we get closer to London which is going to take a while by the looks of things um, then it could be that there might not be a job to London and I'm not going to sleep, I'm not going to cheat I will literally load up the game, press record um and then look. I don't look in advance. Uh, I have set them via the shortest distance first. So I genuinely do not know where the jobs are going to be. So if the shortest one was 400 miles, then well, it would have been another 400 miles. So uh, it just needs to be heading roughly in the right direction as to uh, where we want to go. Right, we're now following this um, Norbert lorry. So yes, really uh, a thank you to everybody that's watched the first couple of videos in this and the few that have commented saying you want to see more. Uh, I really do enjoy ETS2 and uh, the last couple of years I've done a new series you know, starting again in ETS2 um, but wanted to try something different this time and uh, thought this was quite cool. So it may be that when we get to London, I don't know, we'll see if we can maybe get to Scandinavia, get to Iceland, you know, why, what are you doing, truck? At the roundabout, take the second exit. 
and uh, although I do a lot of gaming in uh, Euro Truck in multiplayer, where you've got no obviously AI traffic, um, it does actually feel quite nice doing it in single player. Right, I'm going to overtake this guy. Okay, I was going to try and overtake this guy until he decided to speed up. I'm going for it. Oh, that's some braking. Oh, he's turned off down there anyway. So yes, 22 tons of uh, blocks. In our Volvo. Not a huge Volvo fan. Um, obviously, it may be that we'll end up in some different trucks. Um, or it could be that we end up doing a few jobs in the same trucks. Because obviously, I'm just picking it based on... Uh, the distance, but you know, if we end up with something that's, I don't know, 250 miles in something we've done before, or 300 miles in something we haven't, then I'm likely to pick the one that we haven't. So hopefully we get some uh, other trucks. You know, we've had a Scania and a Renault so far. I do like the fact that it's struggling up here. Keep left. Come on then, car. It's definitely nice that it's a struggle making that 420 work. So yes, if you are in the Discord, or even if you're not in the Discord, and you do um, spend some time in uh, Euro Truck, as a lot of people do, um, why not share some screenshots? You know, have you found a fantastic truck mod? Um, is there something that you know you think looks and sounds awesome? Is there um, a great road that you found? It'll be really cool to uh, let us know. So, so check out the truck section of the Discord and uh, share your uh, share your screenshots. Uh, be part of the community, and it is a fantastic community. And uh, always looking for new people to join us in the uh, trucking, which as I said will probably be once a fortnight. See how things go. Right. Uh oh. Exit right. Okay, we can't exit right. The police have blocked it off. Never mind. I'll find a new route. Okay, we'll find a new route then, which has now lengthened the journey. Yay. mind those diversion things which I think you can turn off but when you're trying to do a, a route and keep it short adding on some more miles is a bit like no I wanted to make this a short video I don't want this to be a 50 minute video and obviously at the time I'm doing this I don't know how long it's going to be currently 14 minutes it just goes so quick I've got to say, you know, ETS2, for a, a sim that's been out for a long time, it does look good. It just does look and feel really, really good. They are and have been constantly tweaking it and updating it. And it say, this is just stock game. Um, the only mods I've got in are pro mods. And there are things that can make it, you know, look better. Uh, 
That was definitely a struggle up there. So at this rate, it's going to take us a while to get to London, I think. We may be here sometime. So it could be, I might even do some of the longer journeys. You know, I might do a couple of longer legs, maybe do them on a stream. Which is something that we, I could do in multiplayer, so we could add that into it. Um, but I'll just pick a quick job and then uh, get other people to uh, tag along. That could be a thing. Or could get a couple of people to join me. Okay, lorries this way. Cars had to go that way. Welcome to the border. The audio is sounding really good. And I'm recording this the day after I did my train sim video that just was just... Oh. Well, they like their crossings here, don't they? My total weight is 37 tons. You may proceed. Well, thanks for that. Here we'll pick the middle one. I love these border crossings. Can it just adds a whole something? Checking my documents. That was quick. Blimey. We don't need fuel. So we're going around there. Fuel in no man's land. Where do you get the tax on that then? Okay, we'll stick with this side. Could be. That's a lot of checks. I could have just driven around this, I suppose. Sounded really good on the down change as well. Checking my documents. Hopefully they're okay because they were back there. Nope, we're all good. Okay, around here. Another check. Blimey. Oh, 
That was a lot of checks. It did feel a bit strange just being in there on my own, though. And that no other vehicles were coming through the checks. Okay, there's a lorry coming down there now, but I don't know if he'll actually go through. Or he'll probably not program for that. load of lorries coming down. Pop some lights on, it's getting dark. And 149 miles to go. Hopefully it's all straight motorway now so we can actually uh, get our foot down a little bit right, 62 limit Just see if we can uh, give it the beans for a few minutes. Keep right. Blimey, that's back to the future speeds. That's a bit rapid. Okay, truck's now struggling with the merge. And we got a hill. So this isn't going to go well. Oh, I see. Look, truck pulls straight out, tries to overtake other truck. I can't do that. I'm in a slow truck with a heavy load. I'm faster than this truck though. Going for the overtake. off down here so we'll follow the Volvo. I have got it set on small roads so it's not taking me you know direct sort of fast highways it is taking me on twisty roads. Sun going down. Uh oh. Okay, we've got 92 miles to go, 91 miles to go, and uh, we're heading towards some twisties.
Hopefully not too twisty. Because I haven't fallen over in one of these yet. I'm sure it's going to happen at some point. It's bound to. Our customer expects delivery very soon. Make sure you arrive on time. Well, I'm trying. I've got 80 miles to go. as fast as the truck will let us go. Okay, even though I am speeding slightly. It'd be nice to get there before it gets dark as well. God, the scenery looks good. Now we get a hill. Great. Thanks for that. Yeah, I'm really looking forward to... Obviously, we've got a new map coming for this. Um, so more is always good. I haven't really heard anything about anything else. I haven't really read anything about new things coming. You know, we've been saying for years that it would be awesome if we had rigid trucks rather than arctics um, because that would be quite cool even down to like seven and a half tonners because they've got the licenses from from volvo from mercedes from scania they all make rigids keep right um so certainly 12 and a half tonners and 17s so having those would be really cool so you just load up at the freight market like you're loading your own trailer. So, you, you know, to start your company out in a little seven and a half ton truck and just doing freight market jobs, um, obviously up to a certain weight limit, that would be really cool. Uh, and then going up to a uh, 12 and a half tonner, then a 17 tonner, that would just be brilliant and then go up to an arctic like this again that just add a something else into the game you know make everyone want to start again because you just start with your first truck a little seven and a half ton truck and you know we've been saying for a while that a second hand market would be awesome so you buy trucks like this is you know 182,000 miles on the clock so you don't buy a brand new truck when you're starting out, you buy second hand. And not that we want damage, because obviously from a licensing point of view they wouldn't want that. But something that makes it look older, or even older models would be good, you know. Ten year old, when we got the, you know, the old Scanias and stuff in, but something older than that, so that you start with. I just think that would be really cool. Let me know below if you've got this far. Uh, you know, what would you like to see in Euro Truck? That's just looking so good. Twenty-nine miles away. I do like the fact this is underpowered. 
I'm actually glad it didn't give me a, a 700 horsepower thing. We shot that corner slightly. All right, twenty one miles to go. I'm not a huge fan of Volvos. Scania certainly up there with me. I quite like DAFs. Quite like the XF. Uh, I quite like the Renault T. This does sound good, but they're just a bit. I don't know. Not really an inspiring dash. It's you know functional, so it does everything you want a truck to do, and it'll probably last a long time because Volvo. Keep right, then exit right. Okay, slightly speeding there towards the end. Okay, we can exit only, right. well we can only go right, we can't go straight on, we're not allowed. Get ready to turn right. I'm getting ready to turn right at Pleven. Turn right. Blimey, seems to brought to turn left. brought me in the back way here. ready to turn right turning right is a thing that I am getting ready to do turn right I'm gonna turn right turn left I'm then gonna turn left because I can't turn go straight on and then turn right turn right I will turn right Okay, so we'll line ourselves up and park it, hopefully. There we go. Marble blocks delivered from Tekedag to Pleven. And there we go. Job done. Next time we will carry on from Pleven, making our way back towards London. Uh, give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Don't forget to hit subscribe to see more of this and more of my other content indeed. And uh, please do check out those links uh, down below. One to the Discord server and one to watch me live on Twitch. Uh, yes, we will carry on from here next time. In what? To where? I don't know. Until then, if you have been, thanks very, very much for watching.